If you ever wanted to know what production issues looked like for anime, that's exactly what you see on your screen right here before you. Less than 24 hours before the first episode of Worlds in Harem came out, we had this announcement right here, that the anime has been delayed until January 2022. Now obviously that isn't too far away, that's a few months away, that's like an entire anime season, but the thing is, is that what's shocking is that it was literally announced 24 hours before the first episode came out. And normally when it comes to these type of practices for postponements to delays, etc., it usually comes out maybe weeks to months prior in advance before, you know, the anime actually is about to come out. For instance, a good example of this is The Rising of the Shield Hero. The Rising of the Shield Hero was supposed to come out this anime season, but uh, it got delayed. Uh, and it got announced it was delayed a few months back. So seeing this situation with the worlds in Harem, you know, getting literally delayed and then literally the first episode was to come out today. Now for some clarification, the first episode did in fact come out today in Japan. However, in terms of streaming, for instance, it was supposed to come out on Crunchyroll today because they have the license, it will not come out until January 2022. So if you are in fact wanting to watch the first episode, there is technically no legitimate way to go and watch the series unless you actually live in Japan. So I wanted to clarify that for anyone that is unaware of, like, since you heard that the first episode is coming out today, well, it's not coming out streaming-wise, so if you are waiting for it to appear on Crunchyroll, it is not coming out today. It's crazy to me that we got an announcement like this less than 24 hours before the first episode was aired, and then now, if you want to watch this series, you're gonna have to wait until January to watch episode 2 onward, which is just something you don't really see. So, if there's anything going on, it's clear that there's something bad internally with the anime's overall structure. So, let's dive a little bit deeper into this. So, from the official Twitter account that posted the information about 19 hours ago at the time of me currently recording this video, the Twitter post says that it was to scrutinize the expression. Now, this is obviously Google Translate, so there could probably be a lot of inaccuracies with this translation, and if you go to the Anime News Network article, they talk about how they wanted to examine the production, so I'm going to assume that ANN's source is probably a little bit more accurate to the scrutinize the expression, but whatever the case may be, it's very clear that something fundamentally has gone wrong for the anime, in that it had to be delayed, and this is extreme, because to just straight up delay a series so quickly like this, I can't imagine the amount of money and revenue lost, because you gotta think about this, they already scheduled the anime to air on different broadcasting stations, the licensing probably with Crunchyroll, etc., and then just to delay it instantly, it has to probably cost a little bit of money to just say, hey, we gotta delay this until January. So let's dive deeper into why, you know, they wanted to scrutinize the expression or examine the production and obviously the simple answer is is that maybe they weren't able to finish the anime in time and that is why it obviously got delayed which is something I am definitely wanting to believe more than anything however there is another case to this and we got to think about a series that caused quite the bit of a stir a while back which was called interspecies reviewers and if anyone remembers interspecies it was a series that came out just started a big old storm and you know fundamentally they quickly removed it off their platform because of just how the graphic, the content was, and, you know, they just completely, they threw it away. And if you actually wanted to obtain a legal copy of Interspecies Reviewers, it's really hard to obtain, which is really sad because it's actually a very unique show regardless of just how you know, I guess, you know, certain lines it might cross to some. But the point I'm trying to make, though, is, is that I wonder if Worlds and Harem is probably on, under the same microscope, because it is a series with a plot about the last guy alive, pretty much, to create children with the, the only female population. I mean, that's literally what the whole story is basically about. So when you really factor that in, maybe the reason why it was delayed was because maybe it was very uncensored, and maybe they want to go out of their way and censor it up for the actual broadcasting for the upcoming episodes. Who knows? But that's just something I wanted to throw out there for why maybe it might have been delayed as well. But, uh, yeah, this is some crazy news, because I honestly expected to be able to sit down and watch this series for this anime season, and just get to see the controversy that was going to explode from it, but, uh, that's obviously not going to be the case. But, uh, I just wanted to let everybody know if you're wondering about Worlds in Harem, you know, like I said, the first episode is out, but there's not going to be any more until January. But I guess I'll leave it at that. 
you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. If you uh, enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And with that, guys, be safe, stay healthy. Chibi out.